Hey guys, so grab your coffee, grab your tea, grab whatever it is that you wish to drink. I know it's late, but you know what? This is another video for our coffee time series because I have been busy and distracted for the past couple weeks. As you guys already know, I haven't been doing any videos whatsoever on any sort of topic. Um, because I just kind of did my last video and I went and poofed and disappeared. Um, I even poofed on my Facebook and all my other sites. I was just very distracted. Um, basically what I wanted to say and the topic of this video is a pretty much self-explanatory. Um, I have moved to Arkansas from Connecticut. And I tried doing this video a couple of days ago and I just decided not to redo it because of the fact that I was very spacey. My thoughts weren't very organized at all. And I kept on looking around, staring up at the ceiling. I know that I typically look around when I'm doing my videos, but it was worse because I was still adjusting um, to my new environment. And when it comes to being out of state, now, as I've said, I have lived in Connecticut. I was born and raised there for the 23 years of my life. Um, anytime that I wouldn't end up going out of state. Um, I haven't really been out of New England. I think that the furthest south that I've ever been was Pennsylvania. And I've been to New York, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, about a mile into New Hampshire by accident. I wasn't the one driving. And I've been to Pennsylvania. That's it. Now, yes, there have been multiple trips to those certain states, but even when I went, they were, for the most part, road trips, and they were only day trips. You know, you go out, you do your thing, hang out, shop, and then you come back. That's pretty much all that I have ever done for any sort of trips or vacations or anything of the sort. So, me, I love to travel, and I have never been on a plane before, so this was a very new experience for me, and I have to say, it was a very interesting, it was nerve-wracking getting onto the plane, sitting there, you know, getting all antsy and everything else, and, but... All I had to remember was the reason for why I was doing this. And, you know, thankfully, through meditation and visualization, I kind of had a rough idea. Not necessarily being on a plane, but flying in general. And I know that people who don't follow a similar path to the one that I do will probably think that I'm just a whack job for saying such, but, oh well. You know, those of you who are a part of the Pagan Path will understand meditation visualization. Visualization, la 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 la. Um. <laughs> okay, moving on, if you know what I mean. Anyway, so, <laughs> that helped me greatly. Um, with the flying aspect of it. The only thing that I really didn't like about the flying thing was my ears popping. And it was primarily in my right ear. Now, as a child, I have had numerous um, ear infections. I've had two sets of tubes in my ear, or both of my ears, excuse me. I think the first set was when I was four, and the second set when I was six. So... You know, ears popping, ear sensitivity, yeah, it 
it wasn't exactly the best experience, but everything else was marvelous. Like once we got in the air, I was staring out the window. It was gorgeous. The clouds, oh my, the clouds were gorgeous. Um, and it was coming from Connecticut to Atlanta, which was our midway or stop in between. Um, it was clear blue skies, easy going. It was marvelous. You know, I'm sitting there with my book, taking down notes. My sea land sky, by the way, yes, I know I haven't, I haven't done that as of yet. But as I said, I was distracted. But I was taking down notes. I was reading, playing on my computer. You know, just in a sense, living it up. Why? Because it was my first time. You know, being up in the air, being off the ground. And no, we just don't fly on brooms, so that doesn't count. <laughs> but, you know, this trip has been planned for months. Like, it wasn't just a sudden decision. Um, it has been planned for months since everything fell apart. I have been in this mode of I need to get out, you know, just have that strong urge of I need something new. And I've been desiring in order to move down south for years, but I wouldn't do it without, you know, having a reason to. And here came along a reason. And now I'm here. Um, so the person who was to come up and get me, he did. And meeting him for the first time face to face, even after, you know, all the phone conversations, Skype, um, Messenger, you know, talking to each other day in and day out, like constantly throughout the day. But when you meet that one person face to face, typically when I'm talking to someone online, you know, it's just, you know, chatting, you know, not really, um, not the video chat, but you're just typing to each other, I get extremely nervous when I meet people face to face. Um, I've only met one other individual face to face and I was extremely nervous and I wasn't myself when I met that person. Now with this one, you know, I saw him coming across and it's like, I'm talking to my dad and it's like, holy crap, he's right in front of you and then I just shut up and I was, I have never been so comfortable with someone in a very long time, other than my family. It is, it's relieving. It really is. It's nice. It's comfortable. I can be myself. I can be the random wackadoo that I am without having to worry that what is this person going to think of me? You know, in my videos, I'm crazy, I'm hyper, I'm random, but it makes people laugh. But sometimes when you get that one person that you're actually talking to and they look at you and they go, what in the world is wrong with you? And they have such negativity about them and you just want to like hit them with something or throw something at them because it's like, do you laugh? Take this stick out of your ass and laugh. Hi. <laughs> but I can talk to him. I can talk to him. I can be random. I can randomly dance throughout the house and just have him go, okay, and just laugh. Well, he does it too, so. <laughs> He came up, met my family, met my friends, 
you know, my parents have known about this for months. Yes, I was living with them, but yes, they are very supportive. Um, they don't think that I'm crazy because my mother figured that I take after my mother. You know, if she was to tell me no, I would just done it anyway. You know, I'm not really one nerd to rebel, but if I feel as though that I'm doing something right for me, I'm going to do it. I'm not one nerd to just go off on a limb and just do something crazy without thinking about it first. You know, I use this. I'm quite capable of using this, and therefore I do. You know, I wouldn't just get on a plane with someone that I never met. I wouldn't get on a plane with someone that I haven't met face to face unless I feel absolutely comfortable and absolutely trust that person. If you have seen my previous videos, you know that I don't trust a whole lot of people. And when I do, generally I get hurt. So. For me, in order to have that much trust in someone, it's very rare, very rare, very unique. And I trust my instincts. I trust my intuition. I trust my gut. So, there are a couple of things that I want to um, mention about being up in Connecticut while he was there. The second day that he was up there, um, typically where I lived, it was called the town that we are a part of. You have downtown, which is all beat up, and I do apologize, ghetto. Um, you know, it's run down, and it's just. Ugh. Sorry. But then you have the other part of town where it was considered the countryside. Calm, um, peaceful, quiet, for the most part. And we also had wooded areas. Well, every so often we would have either one or a couple of hawks that would fly overhead. Because their nest was nearby. Um, but... Throughout the past few years, I've had some random people come up to me and go, Have you seen the eagle? And it's like, uh, no. I've heard about the eagle. I've read about it. I've never seen it. And the second day that he was up there, I happened to notice something flying overhead. Thinking that was a hawk, I look up. Hawks intrigue me. And... I noticed something different about this one bird. It was very large, but it had a white head. And then I'm sitting on my neighbor's porch next to my neighbor with him sitting in the chair next to me. And I just freak out to like, I saw the yo! Like a little five year old. I've never seen an eagle in my life. And yes, it wasn't exactly close, but I could tell what it was because of its like head. So yeah, that was very fascinating. And then while we were um, waiting at our gate at the airport, he happened to turn around and look at the window and there was a praying mantis on the outside of the glass. It had to at least been five inches long. And now I haven't looked up the correspondence or the um, meanings behind these creatures. But it was very fascinating. I haven't seen a praying mantis since I think it was like 14. It was at my aunt's house and even then it was this tiny little thing inside their window. But that bug was huge! And I have nothing against praying mantises, but I'm still glad that was on the outside of the glass because of the size that it was. Um, but anyway, that was our 
Connecticut trip, we had some bumps along the road um, with planning everything. There is a running joke in my family that Murphy, Murphy's Law, loves to screw with us whenever we make plans, and it usually comes in threes. Um, they're basically like challenges that you have to get over in order to achieve the goal that you wish to achieve. And it gets frustrating because it happens every single time. But thankfully, we worked it out, we got through it, and it happened. So, that was a good thing. But we stayed up in a hotel, went over to my parents' house daily. So then it wasn't just us disappearing. And then got on the plane, went down to Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia. And our flight from Connecticut was, it came in late. And we had to wait for planes that were landing. So then that way there wasn't any sort of collision or accident. Um... So that delayed us. So by the time we got to Atlanta, he took my the book bag that I was carrying and we hauled ass across the airport. Like literally. We were walking so fast that if we walked any faster, we would have been running. The reason for why we didn't run was because, well, running isn't exactly the safest and the stuff that we were carrying was kind of heavy. But we got there just in time in order to catch our next flight. The next flight wasn't exactly as smooth as the first one because we were kind of like flying through storms. So it was kind of bumpy, kind of rough, and I just kept on staring out the window because it's like, I wasn't scared, but was more of um cautious, even though I can't do a damn thing because, you know, I'm inside this metal tube and I have absolutely no control over it but I don't know but it was very beautiful um, flying from Atlanta down to Little Rock we flew through these um, clouds these massive clouds and we got through one of them and then it was kind of like a valley like a mountain range of clouds and it was it was breathtaking. It truly was. And I'm surprised at how much I was able in order to basically bring with me. Um, we got, I don't have my quartz, quartz clusters with me. They are unfortunately in storage back in Connecticut um, because they are very large, very heavy, and also very fragile. So I didn't want anything or to possibly happen to them along the trip. Um, we were surprised that the luggage was not overweight, but we got my tumbled stones and some of my um, horse points inside the luggage packed really well. A couple of them got chipped, but you know what? I was able in order to bring the majority of my stone collection with me. And it's actually in the house. So that was a very pleasing and then also the majority of my library is also um, up in storage but I do have a good number of books with me that will keep me busy throughout the time until we are able in order to go and get my stuff. Um, and yes I have my Sea Lane Sky, I have my um, Dancing with Dragons book. I have my mystical dragon magic. I took those out stores purposely so then I could possibly do reviews. I have some plans for the mystical dragon magic book that is going to be more of on a um, personal level. But <clears throat> you guys already know me that if I really do any projects, I will take pictures or I'll take video. I'll do like a show and tell type of thing. But as of right now, I'm not going to be doing anything major 
um, with projects because I'm still adjusting to where I am. But as for Sea Land Sky, it will continue in order to happen. I do apologize for the long delay um, between the introduction and the first chapter review. But trying to get my room packed up, get stuff in storage, get everything ready, set and ready for me in order to come down here. It's over 1,500 miles from my home, from my parents from my friends so it was a major move it's it's very different down here um, where I lived it was more hilly you know you had the mountains and yes you have mountains down here but where we are it's a lot more flat um, and when the wind blows the wrong way or if the humidity is high it smells kind of funky and but other than that it's pretty the roads are confusing in order to learn because of the fact that I've been so used to Connecticut but I'm learning my way around um, taking the sights and um, also another reason for why I haven't really done videos was because I have just recently gotten over a cold because of my ears popping. What happened was um, this gland up here swelled which caused the drainage down into my um, down into my throat which caused me to basically have a cold. Um, so I was you know hacking up the nasty shit. Um, and it was so swollen, so sore that it just hurt. It hurt to swallow. Um, even eating soup, it hurt to swallow. Um, so that was another reason for I, why I haven't really done any videos. Um, I still have a tiny bit of um, stuff going on, but I haven't been taking medication for the past couple of days, um, haven't really been coughing, but I do feel it at least a little bit, but it'll go away. Um, but he went on vacation for two weeks, he came up to get me, we've been here for like the past week and a half, um, he just went back to work tonight. So I'm catching up on stuff, um, catching up on watching videos of people that I'm subscribed to, um, trying to catch up on videos of myself, as in making them. So just bear with me, and I know that this video is long, but you know what? I haven't done a video in a little over two weeks, so... To those of you who actually watched the entirety of this video, I truly thank you. But it's don't call me crazy. You know, I know I'm crazy, you know, but this was planned. It wasn't just a sudden decision. Um I knew who I was talking to throughout the whole entire time. You know, Talking on phone, talking on Skype, talking on Facebook, um, Yahoo Messenger. Um, anytime my eye touched did that little ding in the background of any of my videos, that was him. Because that's pretty much the only person. That was my Yahoo going off. Um, but, yeah. He has kept me pretty distracted for the past couple weeks. I'm happy, I'm comfortable. Um, there are some people that I miss, but... And yeah, I was nervous, but you know what? If you let fear hold you back, you're never going to learn, you're never going to grow, you're never going to do what you truly want to do. 
and so therefore I push past everything and I have actually adjusted faster to this move to this person than I did with basically my ex and that was moving 10 minutes away from my parents by vehicle you know I moved to another town and I was like a mindless zombie for literally months almost the whole entire time I my brain wouldn't function the way that it was supposed to or the way that it used to with my deep thinking critical thoughts that I usually have and I don't feel the numbness that I did back then um, when it comes to being able to feel my body, feel my head, you know, I don't have this constant fuzziness of walking around in like a dream. Um, it's reality. And yes, in the beginning it was surreal and every so often, yeah, it still feels like that, but my body, my mind has come to a realization that this is our new home. And it has adjusted quite well. And I am, in a way, I am amazed. I'm not necessarily surprised, but it just amazes me on how much my mind has already adapted to this place and to this person that I am with. Um, and yeah, I will say that he is a lot different from my previous relationships, and in a very good way, and in many ways. You know, he's like a kid trapped in an adult body, but not to the immature level, you know. He can be serious and responsible, but he can be fun at the same time. And he knows how to laugh. He knows how to have a good time. He picks on people. He picks on me daily. <laughs> but then again, I'm such an easy person to pick on because of everything that I do or say or, you know, my mouth is screwing up simple sentences or even words. So. In a way, I'm an easy target, and you know what? There are some things that he says to me that most women, or most people will find offensive because it's directed at them, and I just go, wow, really? And I just bust out laughing. Because they're not serious, they're picking on me. Or he's picking on me, excuse me, I'm sorry. My mind's going back and forth and typically when I talk about people I don't try and say he or she I typically say they in order to kind of like hide the gender and I'm just gonna shut up with my explanation you know what I mean oh but yeah he picks on me a lot and it's fun but, I believe I actually managed in order to get everything that I want to say in the manner that I want to say it within this video. Yay! Because the last one I was like a mindless zombie. Because my, like I said, I wasn't fully adjusted at the time. I wasn't fully adapted and my mind would. My eyes were constantly staring up at the ceiling, and it was, it was bad. <laughs> it was really bad, it's like, um, anytime that I make my videos, I go back and I watch them before I post them up, um, in order to kind of watch my facial expressions and how I'm talking and making sure that I'm being me and being how I am, and so then you can see how I am throughout my 
daily life, which I'm not constantly talking into camera, but the way that I talk with you is the way that I talk to pretty much everyone within my life, even with the randomness. Um, and I just, I didn't like how that last one came out. So, to those of you who have watched this video in its entirety, thank you very much. And I just scratched the wall with my claws. <laughs> They're getting quite long and difficult and... Yeah, anyway. So... Thank you for watching the video in its entirety. Um, thank you for being very patient with me. That means a hell of a lot to me. It is very highly appreciated. Um, to those of you who are waiting up on Sea Land Sky reviews, they are still coming, but please bear with me. Um, I have the book on the shelf along with my notebook. I will be going back over it and reviewing it in order to make sure that I know what the hell I'm going to say and how I'm going to say it and go about it and everything else. Bear with me. Be patient. Um, if you have anything you wish to say or ask, um, as long as it's respectable, please feel free to um, comment, video response, message, you know the deal basically. I would hope so by now. But thank you for watching. Love and blessings.